Good morning, Covington Cougars. This is Mr. Wozniak with Brianna with your morning announcements. Now, you're probably going to realize that it is not Monday, and we've been trying to do our Monday morning message every Monday. But with conferences last Friday and then a half day on Thursday, I would not was not able to get in touch with Brianna in time, so we're getting them now. And I always say, better late than never. She was reminding me about it, and I said, let's do them. So are you ready? Yeah. All right, with that being said, everybody, as we said, good morning. Today is day two. Please join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How are you this morning? I'm good. I'm glad to hear that. While we were getting ready for this, actually, we were starting to talk about the weather, and you're going to notice that it's getting cooler and cooler out. Some days it's rainy, but it's going to get cooler and cooler, and that trend is going to continue as we go into winter. So make sure that we're dressing appropriately. Even myself, I have a hard time remembering bringing a jacket, and I'm making sure to bring a jacket right now because especially in that morning when we're getting to school, it's pretty cool outside. So make sure to start bringing a jacket every day. What else should we be bringing? Um... I'd say like gloves or a hat. Gloves and a hat are always a good idea. I know that it might not be glove weather just yet. However, I think it's a good idea to start finding out where they are and maybe bringing them some mornings because it is pretty chilly. Anything else? Um, a scarf. I know as it gets colder, a scarf's always a good mm -hmm. idea too. So let's make sure that we're dressing appropriately for the weather because it's getting cooler and that's going to continue happening as we get into um, later fall and the winter months. All right, good thinking. You bring your hat today? Um, I have a big coat that my mom just bought me, so okay. that's like built in. With it. <laughs> All right, sounds good. So uh, I have not seen you in the morning, but I'm going to take your word on that. <laughs> All right. So our um, focus for the week, our focus for the week that we've been talking about and was continued from last week since we had a short week is returning to class promptly or quickly. So sometimes we leave class and we go to the washroom, get a drink of water, maybe go to the office. It's important to go to that place, do that thing, and get back to your class. Why? Because um, you don't know what can miss out. There could be a lockdown or a fire drill. And okay, so safety know. reasons. Yeah. Any other reasons? Because um, you might be missing out on something important, like, something for a test and then when you get there you're not going to know what happened all right well there's a lot of learning going on in the classroom right we don't want you to miss that learning so i know that throughout the course of the day you might have to go to the washroom or you might have to drop something off the office that's that's understandable but making sure that we get back to class as promptly or as quickly as we possibly can for safety issues as well as that responsibility piece too all right fantastic thank you very much i loved the insight on that one mm -hmm. so we do have some books you want who wants to share first Thank you. I'll share first. So this one I actually also got off of one of the bookshelves in the hallway. Um, me and Brianna were talking about it, and I love historical books, and this was called On Board of the Titanic. Do you know what the Titanic was? Wasn't it like that big ship that sang because it, it hit an iceberg? Well, don't, don't ruin everything. I want people to read the book. But, yes, this is a very large um, cruise ship and um, it did go through a little bit of a tragedy. So this book is actually located on the bookshelves right by the fourth grade classrooms. If anybody's interested, I'm going to put it right back here after the announcements. And what are you reading over there, Brianna? Well, me and my whole class are reading the Because of Winn-Dixie. Um, I really like this book because it's about a little girl that she went to the grocery store and she met the little dog that was like destroying it and nobody was calling it out for that dog being the that dog having an owner so um her name's india she just took the dog and they okay. were starting to take care of it so this is a book that you're currently reading with your class yeah fantastic how far into it are you guys i'd say pretty far but we haven't been reading it often but i'm gonna ask the teacher if we can start reading it more. Right. i've heard very good things and uh this book actually when you look at the cover has an award right here the newberry medal which uh, is a very prestigious award when it comes to books one final thing is that this Friday we do have our Covington Spooktacular coming up. So for those that will be there, um, hope to see some nice costumes. And I'm um, excited about joining you guys for an afternoon of fun. Any last words, Brianna? Um, stay warm. Stay warm. That's always a good thing. And I'm going to end with, remember everybody, don't just have a good day, but make it a great day. This is Mr. Wozak and Brianna. Bye, guys.